Everybody got an opinion about body hair. But opinions are like buttholes. Everyone has one, but mine is the best. Ode to a Pewberry, this week on the Blue Ball Report. Welcome to the Blue Ball Report, I'm your host, Digger. I recently saw this stupid meme with a big pink glazed donut. It looked quite delicious if it weren't covered in stray hairs, like it had been dunk in a recently trimmed, thick, curly, black puberry bush. Ew. Beneath this nasty image was some real interwebs wisdom. Quote, You wouldn't eat this. Why expect others to? Shave your damn asshole. What a stupid way to declare that it's only common sense that the holes of the ass shall forever be maintained smooth shaven gay men. <laughs> Somehow it's become all the rage to banish body hair from bits front side and backside down to the skin. I don't know how and I don't know why. As if grooming wasn't enough work already, now we're gonna add the daily task of shaving till butter smooth our nether regions. Booking high-end salons with our ass up for a well-paid esthetician to banish our body's natural furry tendencies. I remember like over 10 years ago, the original Queer Eye for the Straight Guy with the tip of the day. The shorter the lawn, the bigger the tree does appear. The trimmer the puberty bush, the bigger the wiener would seem. And to a point that may be true, guys, but only to a point. Fair enough, if your bush is so billowy it's hiding your prickly pear, then snip it a bit, okay. But pubic hair around your junk is like frame around art. Once the frame is entirely removed, shaving it down to the skin, then the frameless artwork just looks smaller. And it looks prepubescent. And that's fine if what you're going for is no shame, folks. But if you're aiming to maximize your junk size, then a nice puberty frame goes a long way. But now it's gotten all trendy to shave every piece of body hair as if we're all competitive swimmers in nude Olympics. Now I know the shaming goes in all different directions, but I'm sick of hearing people shame others for their natural body hair. And that includes back hair. And yes, I quite like that. Shoulder hair or hair anywhere. If someone tells you how to groom your pubes, feel free to invite them. Keep your opinion until I ask for it. Unless of course there's someone whose opinion you care about. Now we are entitled to our preferences and tastes, but we don't need to impose them on others as if we're doing them a favor of updating them on a common sense truth. There is no such thing. Some like hair, some don't. Some like to shave, some like to trim, others don't. Body hair serves many important functions and you have every right to be proud of it wherever it grows and tell the shamers to shut the hair hate mouse. Hair is built in lubrication. Without it, skin against skin under your arms or other regions sticks together. It chafes, gets nasty. It's also a lubricant between you and someone else. Body hair is also a substrate for your natural pheromones as chemical messengers to attract potential mates. And a good match is sexy. Some of us prefer whatever is natural to you, smooth or hairy, but shaved stubble, in my experience, it's like sandpaper. It hurts. Oh, the many tears I have shed upon sight of a stubble butt, or stubble back, or stubble chest. But that's just my opinion, no shame at all. Pubic hair is a sexy reminder of sexual maturity. Even back and shoulder hair. More hair, more better. Some of us like to embrace the sexual animals that we are. So this week I say, you're entitled to your preferences, hairy, smooth, shaved, but don't shame others who differ from you. If you like more videos on sexual empowerment, then just hit the subscribe button and click here for more videos. Until next week, farewell and heroin.